Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create the perfect highlighter shade by mixing old highlighters you may have laying around in your collection. You can also use this method to fix a broken highlighter. So let's get started. So first thing you'll need is rubbing alcohol. Grab the highlighter or highlighters that you are going to want to fix or mix. You'll need some sort of spatula or tweezers to break up the product in the highlighter pan. Lastly, a piece of paper. I chose to mix these old highlights from my previous Anastasia Glow Kit that I was no longer using. As you can see here, I'm going to start breaking up the product in the pan. As I'm doing this, I am dumping all the product onto the piece of paper. The piece of paper is going to serve as our funnel later on in the video to put it back into the pan. The two shades I decided to mix was Sunburst and Bubbly. And since I'm going to be mixing both of the shades Bubbly and Sunburst, I'm repeating the same step and dumping it onto the Bubbly shade. I'm going to be breaking up the product with the tweezers to try to get it as finely milled as I can. So now that I have finally milled the highlighter, I am going to start to use the paper as my funnel by just folding both sides of the piece of paper and dispersing the product back into the pan. So you want to dump the highlighter in sections, that way you can flatten out the product and then dump more as you go. So as you can see here, I'm just repeating the same step. I'm dumping a little bit more and then I'm going to flatten that section out. And I will continue doing this until I have used up all the product and gotten at the very top of the pan. So now that you have flattened out the highlight as much as you can, you want to grab your alcohol. I recommend using a high percentage of alcohol, that way the product absorbs it faster and it dries quicker. For this part, I did get a towel because I was dropping alcohol everywhere. So now with the end of my tweezer, I'm just going to smooth out the top of the highlight as much as I can in the pan. Feel free to add more alcohol if you need so in some places like I did right here. I noticed that it was a little bit dry and it was getting harder to smooth out. So you can leave it here and be done, just let it dry. Or you can grab a paper towel and flatten out the top of it and then it'll get the texture of the paper towel as you'll see in just a minute. I like using the paper towel because it will just pick up the texture from it and this is how it will look like. Let it dry overnight. Alright and this is the finished product. As you can see it is very pigmented. It is just comparable as the actual glow kit in itself. It does not lose its pigment or anything once you use the alcohol. And I will be swatching it on my face for you guys with an actual fan brush just so you can see the actual pigmentation of how it performs with a brush and not just a finger swatch because we know sometimes they're not the same. I went ahead and swatched Anastasia's So Hollywood Illuminizer next to the shade because I thought they looked very similar. So there is kind of a dupe in there for you. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I'll see you in my next video.